Hey, welcome to another episode of Guitar Intervals Unleashed, where today we're going to talk about finding the major and minor scales on your fretboard using the nanny method. So let's start with the major scale. So the major scale intervals are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No flats. So if we're using a root C, you may know from a piano that's all the white keys, all the natural notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. We like to use a root C because that way both the intervals and the note names, neither of them are going to have flats. If you don't understand this now, you'll understand we move to the minor scale. So how are we going to find the major scale on our guitar with that information? Well, using the nanny method, the first thing you're going to want to do is rearrange both of these series into fourths. The interval is now 7, 3, 6, 2, 5, 1, 4. And the note names are B, E, A, D, G, C, F. So what's important to note here is that with the intervals, it now begins on a 7, where we were starting just going through 1 through 7 before. The series now starts on 7. And your 7th is one half step down from the root. So if we want to build the whole scale in 4ths, just go one half step down from your root, which in the key of C is B. So if we apply that to our fretboard, it would look like this. If you were to play along on your guitar, the C in this image would be on the 8th fret. You go a half step down, you get B, and you move in the pattern of fourths across the fretboard, making the half step adjustment from the G to the B string. And just remember, when you get to the C on the high E, you can then plot that C also on your low E, because the E strings mirror each other, and then one more fourth up, and you have F. B, E, A, D, G, C, F. And you can apply that to any note. Any key you want to play, just play the root note, and go a half step down, and then move up in fourths and follow this pattern, and you'll be playing every note in that root's major scale. So now the minor scale. The minor scale's intervals are 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, and flat 7. So with the root C, that's C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, and B flat. So again, that's why using C is useful because you can see how the intervals line up with the note name. That won't always be the case with different roots, but with C it is, so it's useful to see it that way. So we rearrange them in fourths, and our intervals on the minor scale are now 2, 5, 1, 4, flat 7, flat 3, flat 6. And the, the note names are D, G, C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat. But the important thing to note here is that the interval series now starts on 2, so that's one whole step above our root note. So on our fretboard, we find our C, which we talked about is at the 8th fret. One whole step up from there is D, and then plot the series from D. D, G, C, F, B flat, E flat. Plot the E flat on the high E, back on the low E, and then you get to A flat. D, G, C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat. So you can apply this interval pattern to any root note you want and you'll find that root's minor scale within two frets. And that's how you find both the major and minor scales within two frets using the nanny method. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more like this, please subscribe. And for a more in-depth look at the nanny method, pick up Guitar Intervals Unleashed, now out on Amazon. Link is in the description.